Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well ladies and gentlemen, I came across this small gas lantern on Amazon and I've never really seen a gas lantern meaning that you use propane or butane with it that doesn't really need a mantle. I'm not sure how much it will brighten up the room but we're going to try it today here in the bunker because I think it's pretty cool that you can use two different types of fuel. Now it comes so that you can attach it to a butane canister, but I reviewed this a long time ago for those of you that have been with me that long, and this is just a small attachment that you can actually put on a one pound propane cylinder and use a butane attachment with it. Okay, so it kind of like converts it from propane to be able to use with something that is made to attach to a butane canister. So let's take a quick look at this little lamp. Let me show you the box that it comes in. It's called the BRS. And at first, before I opened it, it just looks like a cheap little uh, lantern that's made in China. But the build quality of it is actually pretty nice. It comes in this plastic case. And the instructions on it, they are no good unless you can read, I think it's Chinese, Mandarin, whatever they call it. So I won't even bother showing you the instructions. I've used it a couple of times just to familiarize myself with it because like I said, the instructions to me, they're no good. But it has a minus and a plus sign. And obviously, to close the valve all the way, you just bring it all the way to the minus. And then to open the gas valve, you go to the plus. So let's go ahead and attach this first to the butane cylinder and see how it works. We're going to make sure that it's all the way to the off position. And when you're putting it on, you have to do it very fast because some fuel does want to come out. But just do it pretty fast and it's, it's all right. As you can see, no big deal. But as you can see right there, it's off. In order to turn it on, we actually have to take the chimney off. The chimney or the flue. I call it the flue. It's probably wrong, but that's what I call it. So we just take the chimney off, which is on there with just two rubber o-rings so all you got to do is just pull it off see that comes off really easy it's not hard at all so we'll go ahead and put this down and we'll go ahead and turn it on and there you go you see i really like this function ladies and gentlemen that you can adjust the flame with this right here because that way, when you initially turn it on, even though you have your, your gas all the way on, your flame will only get so high. So you can put your flue on, and then you can adjust your flame with this right here. And that right there is about as high as it'll go. Now the question is, how much light does this make? Well, let's go ahead and turn off our main light. This is the only light I've got going on right now. I turned my computer off to make sure we weren't getting any light from the computer. Let me go ahead and turn off as well the light that I have on this camera. And as you can see, I turned off the camera light as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and turn off our light. I had to make sure that my computer was actually off. I only had it on sleep and it turned down by mistake. But we've got our camera light off. And now we turn off our main light. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That's not bad at all. I mean, I'm standing in the middle of my bunker. And I can see enough to walk around and not bang into anything. Now, as with anything else, ladies and gentlemen, this is a flame that is produced by gas. And in my opinion, it's just like any other flame. Whenever you have it in your home, you always have to be in the same room that it's in. So for example, if I have this in my living room and I'm gonna to go to the bathroom for a minute, I'm gonna make sure that I bring this with me. But in order to, to turn it up or down, you can just turn it down using this lever right here. And it creates plenty of light for you to be able to see around you. Not too bad, let's go ahead and turn it off and let's see how it works with the propane. Now to turn it off, you just bring this all the way to low. 
and then you just turn this until it completely turns off. And as you can see, that's off. Let's turn on our light. And there you go. Now it's off. Now all we have to do is take this off. And then we're going to try it next with our propane cylinder and see how it works on propane. All right, we've got our camera light back on. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Just make sure that it's nice and snug. It doesn't have to be super duper tight, right? You don't need a wrench for it. Just uh, finger tight. And that right there is on. Now we'll go ahead and put it on our propane cylinder. Always making sure that it's off, okay? And there you go. And there wasn't even a hiss on that one. On the butane, there was a little bit of a hiss, but not on this one. So let's go ahead and take off our flue. Now there seems to be a little more pressure on this one, but let's put our flu on. And look at that ladies and gentlemen, let me turn the light off. That actually looks pretty nice. Let's see how high we can get it. It's not recommended that you allow it to go past the top. And definitely it'll go past the top with this one. Let's go ahead and turn off our light. Our computer is still off. I ended up turning it off altogether. And look at that. I don't know. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but for me, it seems like with the propane, you it seems a little bit brighter with the propane. And I don't have the camera light on. I turned it off. But look at that. I mean, look at the uh, look at the calendar. You can see it pretty well just with this light. And let me take a look around me real quick, just like I did before. And I can definitely see a little more in the bunker with this light on than I did with the butane. To me, it seems a little bit lighter. Let's see. Yeah, because I think we're getting a little more of a flame with this than what we did with the butane. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is uh, easy peasy. You don't have to worry about oils or anything like that. Just have a couple of these butane canisters around or a couple of propane canister canisters with the adapter, and you'll be good to go. You'll at least have enough light for you to be able to walk around your house. And I believe that this little lantern here, I think it was like $21, something like that. I haven't put it on my Amazon storefront because I wanted to try it out first and review it with you all before I thought that it was worth $21 or not. But I definitely think it's worth the $21. And I definitely think that the adapter for the propane is a must-have for this. Like, for example, I will not use this with the butane. I'll use it with the propane instead. I think it's a better light with the propane than it is with the butane. All right, short video today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining in. Thank you very much to all of you that joined me in yesterday's live stream. Had a great time. Feeling a lot better. All right, I hope that you all have a great Monday and that you all have a great week ahead. Having said that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Prepper. I am out.